ask the question out of ignorance or do you ask the question out of arrogance? See, if you ask me a question out of ignorance, I'll answer you all day. Because the Bible says, Beloved, I would not have you ignorant of this one thing. How many know the Bible is nothing more than a teaching? God does not want to leave us ignorant. But when you ask the question out of arrogance, can I show you that example in the Bible? Peter walked up to Jesus. Jesus, how many times shall I forgive my brother? And before Jesus can answer, who answered it? Peter. Peter answered. Why would you ask me a question and don't allow me to answer it? Unless you thought you had the answer. Are you getting what I'm telling you? The gospel will be communicated to those that really want to change. You have to know who you're really witnessing to. They really want to hear. Amen. I was confronted one time by a geophysics. This was years ago. And uh, I was a younger man. And my age confounded a lot of people. Uh, how do you explain to all this? He's too young to know this and that. And so when I tell you I sat in circles with geophysics, scientists, new age uh, I, by me alone, God used me to convert Jehovah Witness, to convert a geophysics, because God showed me how to explain the gospel. The gospel can stand all by itself, saints. Yes, it can. The gospel can show you where science can walk side by side. Mm -hmm. The gospel can show you medically how come Jesus died. The gospel can show it to you. It's not my problem if you can't pick the meat off the bone. But how many know God has blessed us to see the mystery? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So I was sitting there in front of this geophysics, uh, and, and he tells me, he said, well, i got a question for you. If God is all powerful, mm -hmm. can God create a rock so big that he can't pick it up? And immediately the Holy Spirit said, he's walking in arrogance. Mm -hmm. I looked at him and I said, young man, to be so educated, you're a fool. And thus said the Bible, if I answer a fool, I become a fool. Mm -hmm. That man fell on his knees and when I began to explain stuff, this is the gospel truth. He accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Most people look like they would have got offended. He did not get offended. Mm -hmm. I confronted his ignorance. Mm -hmm. You, when you got the gospel inside of you, you should confront people's ignorance. Not to put them down, but to say you don't know who you messing with. Yes. Have people tell me, man of God, you intimidate people. Why? Because I know who I am? Amen. Do you hear me? I really know who I am. Yes, Lord. Well, who are you, preacher? I'm the head. Yes, Lord. <laughs> That's who I am. Hallelujah. By show hand, how many believe they're the head? Hallelujah. Then don't you ever walk as a tail again. Thank you, Lord. God didn't call us to follow a crowd. He called us to lead a crowd. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Now, I'm sorry if you think that I'm, I'm opinionated. How about if I'm gospel -made? Yes, Lord. I'm pregnated by the gospel. Yes, Lord. I believe everything the gospel says. The word has been effectively communicated to me. When you're struggling, well, how do I bring up the Bible? How do I just start talking to folks? I'm trying to tell you something today, saints. How... Our soul represents the soul. In other words, you got to do like David. You got to check within yourself. Oh God, search me, try me, test my reign, see if there be any wickedness inside of me. How many know Jeremiah the prophet says the heart is desperately wicked above all things? Who can know it? In other words, sometimes we can think we're right and we're dead wrong. Right. Amen. The danger zone, saints, is when we meet people and we think we're there to teach them and never perceive they're there to teach us something. Yes. Every time you meet somebody, you're there to teach them. How about God want to bless you so you can learn something? Yes. How many know we find that very indicative with teenagers? Don't teenagers think they know everything? They know everything. Can't teach them anything. That's how I recognize in the spiritual realm where people are. Because you can meet some spiritual Christians, boy, you can't teach them nothing. <laughs> I shared with, with some, uh, some men this morning, I had a man tell me, I had a man tell me, well, the Lord showed me uh, that there's a preacher's tie. I'm like, I'm like, I know I read the Bible a few times. I ain't never 
saw a preacher's tie. I saw where the Bible says a laborer is worthy of his hire. I saw where it says muzzle not the ox that traded out the corn. I read in Leviticus where it says the priest shall live by the altar. I read in Deuteronomy where it says not only the preacher, but the singer is supposed to get something. The ushers, the deacon. I looked at that and I said, my God, look at this. Then he turned right around and said, and then if you have a godly wife, she gets something. I said, well, suppose she ain't godly. She don't get nothing? I got to confront that foolishness. Then people say, man, you always tear down. I'm, listen, I'm a spider. How many know Proverbs say, consider the spider? Anybody remember that? He said, consider the ain't, old slugger. What are we supposed to do? Go outside, sit in your backyard, and why? I did that. I don't know if you've ever done that. The Bible told me to consider it. I saw ants moving three times their body weight. I saw, I went out and observed nature, and I saw stuff that was amazing to me. One thing is the beaver. Remember that book we were had? The beaver will never tell another beaver they're doing it wrong. Be beavers are the best dam builders in the world. A beaver know what branch they need to fix their dam. You'll never see another beaver stop another beaver and say, you got the wrong branch, go back and get another. Mm -hmm. They each rely on each other's expertise to get the job done. Can I rely on your expertise this morning and you can rely on mine? Yes, Lord. So what are you saying, preacher? I'm saying about the spider. How many know the spider is the only insect that tears down and builds at the same time? Did you hear me? The spider will tear down the web while building another one at simultaneously. How many know that's the gospel? Yes, the, the, the gospel will tear you down and build you up at the same time yes. if you're receptive to it. Yes, Lord. How many know the spider can walk where no other animal can walk? Mm -hmm. I want somebody to hear this. The spider walks on web that don't get stuck. Anything don't get stuck to it. Yeah. <laughs> the spider is the only insect that can walk where others can't. My God, you need to get this message and finish hearing about the spider. Please, we took the message in. Uh, please hear this in its entirety. Go to our e-store. We'll have the CD in its entirety. Keep writing me those emails. I love them. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our e-store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish but have life everlasting. The truth is God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you lordship over my life. And I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now if you prayed that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. I hope to hear from you soon. God bless.